no one else is here. It took a while to kind of figure out where I wanted to park. <laughs> kind of wanted to be able to see those mountains. So Why Maddie has a strawberry fair once a year, which is actually in a week's time. I'm going to just miss it. Apparently there used to be like four strawberry uh, businesses in the area, but it's down to one now. And But they still have this fair. So I thought while I'm in the area, I should get some strawberries. So I went a little bit crazy on the strawberries and ended up getting these two massive containers. Mmm. Oh, that tastes good. Let's see, Why Maddie to me so far? There's all this beautiful greenery. My favorite type of campground is when I can just walk straight away from the caravan. I don't have to drive anywhere. So this park is just less than a block away really. And there's this awesome walk along the river. So I've come to the end of the walk. It was just, just a nice stroll really. And then there's farmland that way. And I think I can walk up to that street and walk back through the edges of town so i might do that for curiosity but i just noticed that there's a there's a, a river so it'll be a bit of wading that was doable that was definitely doable and there's actually there is another campground there which would be good if you wanted to stay more than the five days you're allowed at the ncdm Air park Hello. Hi. That was uh, Jamie. He's also he's got a YouTube channel, and he's doing a series about lupins. And we actually just did a little bit of a trip to check out some lupins down the road. Okay, that's cool. Actually, it reminds me of a, an apartment in Hong Kong. <laughs> um, nice. Apartments in Hong Kong, you can touch each wall with 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 each hand. What's that? Oh, that's the, that's where the clothing lives. <laughs> that's the wardrobe. Jeez, an oven and everything. <laughs> this is quite old school, honestly. Look at this. <laughs> like we don't even, we know, Karen doesn't even do the electric jug. She, she's got, <laughs> she's got this for boiling water. That is so old school. <laughs> now, being that you live, essentially live out of campgrounds, I've just, and, and it's a little bit wet out there right now. <laughs> Right there, I've just brought a wee bit of mud in. Yes. How do you get on with cleaning the floor? I'm guessing you don't have a mop on a bucket. I just go for the paper towel and a bit of spray. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm on the ground on my hands and knees wiping it all up. <laughs> it's a clock there. Which I never use. <laughs> well, you're, you're a watch person. Or... It's, I couldn't handle the ticking. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually not quite what I was expecting. I was oh, really? I was expecting more like a shelf, yeah, and then like literally um, kind of like wire barrier arm things to stop everything falling out. Oh yeah. Because what happened in Christchurch is after the earthquakes, all the dairy owners were losing pro uh, product, falling off of shelves, and so what they started to do was put little wee wire barriers across oh, yeah. to stop everything falling out. So overall impression, would you live in one of these? If I was single, I would. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, uh, I don't know if Karen will stay single her whole life, so this <laughs> probably is not forever. I'm sure it'll change one day, but for now, I'm sure Karen is very happy in this. If I was single, I'd, I'd live in this. Yeah, it's and, it, and it beats paying um, mortgage in Auckland. Yeah, hell yeah. Moving day today. I'm not moving far. I want to try out Tamaru and just see what it's like. So I think that's maybe an hour away, so not far. What I've struggled with recently is recycling and rubbish the last few weeks. So I've got an accumulation of recycling in the car. Luckily there were some recycling bins here, but the plastic bin was full and it didn't feel right to leave a box of recycling next to the bin so I'll just keep it in my car and hopefully come across a good recycling option soon.
I've arrived at a race course where NZMCA members can stay for up to five nights and there looks like there's six of us took me a little while to figure out how to get in it's actually a sensitive gate that rises when you get closer so an interesting neighbour just turned up a bus is towing a vintage caravan and we've also got a couple of vintage cars as well my alarm clock this morning were horses galloping past the caravan which is a, a novel alarm clock, really. It's suddenly gone so windy. It's quite dusty out there, so there's dust like dust clouds happening. Really windy. And you know today, the wind's coming from the other direction and it's howling. It just, it was been fine all day and about 6 p.m. It's really picked up. It's, it's had a few really kind of scary gusts, to be honest. The whole caravan's shaking. My poor car has really needed a bit of, uh, a bit of cleaning. So I thought before I, I headed back into a city, I should actually get it cleaned. And this is the, the quick and easy way. <laughs> I've just been having a really good chat with Jaden from Ideal Caravans. I've been driving past this caravan dealer for the last few days and I was sure I saw an Airstream. So I finally went in and they do. They have an American Airstream sitting there. So amazing. This, I think that's the first time I've actually been in one. It might, might be actually the first time I've seen one as well. They are not... Yeah, you just don't see them in New Zealand. And then right next door was the cutest Kiwi caravan. The like little vintage one. Had a lot of personality. Very, very cute. Moving day today, I'm actually moving to Christchurch and I'm looking forward to being back at a... This time, this time I'm not staying at the NZMCA park, I've decided to stay at an expensive city campground and I'm looking forward to being kind of in a city centre. There are a few things I need to buy while I'm there. I'm looking forward to, yeah, being able to have a proper shower again and do some laundry, which I desperately need to do. I could have gone to a laundromat in Tamaru, but I just find it just ends up eating up a huge part of the day, just, you know, hanging around waiting for your clothes to wash, whereas it just seems a lot easier when you do it at a campground. Where did all these spiders come from? They're just suddenly everywhere. I guess it's still, it's not windy anymore, finally, and I don't know, they must have, <laughs> I don't know where they've come from. Travel. Traveling is quite tiring because you're always needing to make decisions. There's no habit. Say, today, I've got, I need to go to a dump station to get rid of my wastewater and empty my toilet cassette. Now there's no dump station at this, the race courses, so I'd have to drive down the road. It's not far, it's about seven minutes, but it would mean putting everything, then, then I was thinking, do I want to just take my car? And then I was like, oh, maybe I should attach the caravan and on the way out go in. But then I was thinking, it's on the wrong side of the road and it's quite difficult to get back on the right side of the road 
so that's probably not a good idea and then I was thinking maybe I should look up what other campgrounds are north and I could stop on the way up to Christchurch and then I was thinking they'd probably have dump stations at the Christchurch campground should I just wait until I'm there four options that I keep jumping around on and that's just kind of one of, of many <laughs> many ideas like where where do I, where is the supermarket and then you're at the supermarket where's my favorite item do they have it don't they oh they don't have it what should I eat for dinner instead <laughs> it's kind of I'm ready to stay put and get into a bit of a an easy routine for a little while <laughs> 